Uh, this is baby Patrick and we're actually taking him to our own MRI suite here in the NICU which is slightly different than taking him downstairs. Um, so we're going to get him ready. Uh, he is intubated and he has an IV running so there are considerations for the transport over and for when he actually gets into the um, MRI suite as well. Um, so we're going to use um, equipment for the MRI that's specifically unique to our own MRI suite. It is different than the equipment we use when we're transporting downstairs uh, to the Lee Bell Centre. Um, he's on our own monitors currently, so let's just start off by getting him on the AEEG monitor device. It's the very same system that we actually use. So. Um, have to make sure that our batteries which are supplied these batteries are unique to this device and they're actually from the MRI suite so we're going to engage those and get them started yeah so let me just put the monitor on standby right now there we go and um, well, I like to put the leads on first because they sometimes you've got to put a little bit of pressure on them and it's less pressure on the baby's chest, I feel. All right, so um, let's get this on. We put it mid-chest, pretty self-explanatory. Here we go, baby Patrick. Not too bad at all, good, okay. So um, the other thing that we have to do is put him on a O2 monitor that's um, actually compatible with the MRI that we have on this floor take this one off for you. Thank you. Yeah. Tina's helping me out today. She is the MRI NICU expert. There we go. So let's put that probe on and that should start picking up remotely any second right now. I do like to use this as well, particularly if the baby's got nice big healthy feet like little Patrick here. There we go. And we put this on to hold it in position. Okay, so we now have cardiac monitoring. We have the SPO2 monitor. The other thing we want to do at this point is um, get everything on him because once we get into the suite, we're actually just going to put him in directly. So, um, okay. So right here I have, um, oh yes, thank you for that. This device is, we're going to use it in the bed, it's a portable monitor and it's picking up, if you can see it there, his O2 and his uh, heart rate right now, it's picking it up from the O2 monitor. Alright Patrick, now here comes the tricky bit. So we're going to have to, um, do you want to do the easy ear? So we'll do put him on the left first. And I'm happy to help you if you want to lift him yeah. to put him on the swaddle. Exactly. So let's, okay. I'm just going to move him yep. midline while he has his breathing tube in. There we I'll go. If you could hold for the tube yep. for me, that's fantastic, Tina. Thank you. And let's get the other one in on this side. So we're nearly there. The final stage for Patrick is to get him nice and swaddled and protected from these wires that are currently touching his skin. So this particular swaddle is different than what we've used previously. It is unique to the MRI that we're using on this floor. So again, when you need to find this swaddle, that you're going to find everything that you need in the MRI suite. Uh, pretty self-explanatory. Middle piece around the trunk, smallest piece for the head, and the bottom piece around his legs. And. Um, Okay, so if you hold that in place, Tina, I line it up. Okay. If I lift him, mm -hmm. would you be able to pull that in, yep. do you think? Are we going to keep him on the blanket? Um, we should do, we I usually, guess. Yeah. yeah, we usually yeah. keep him on one blanket. One blanket, exactly. That's a good idea. Okay, all right, let's go. So I'll hold the tubing and then I'll reach under and pull Okay, the I think we can do it together. So I'm coming underneath mm -hmm. and I'm lifting right now. And there goes the swaddle in underneath. Perfect. And there's just one other piece there. You got the two. Good. Mm -hmm. It's right there underneath. Yep. All right, Patrick. He, this, he's not bothered by any of this. Good we boy. We just need to move Patrick up, up a, little a little bit. bit. There we there go. We'll bring the swaddle yep. down so that his head is in line with the very top of the swaddle. There we go. That's it. So, um, as always, we want to keep 
the hands separated from the body. So this is what we've always done in the past, is just wrap up one arm and keep it down this way. And then the other mm -hmm. arm actually has the IV. Now, obviously, I don't need to tell you, but just make sure that your IV looks good before you wrap him up, because once he goes in the machine, you're not going to be able to check it for an hour or so. That's infusing beautifully, no sign of infiltration. Everything looks good. Okay, wrapping up this arm and keeping it this way. Now, the other thing that we need to do is just make sure that his legs are just straight down. You would see that we've got the O2 monitor on there. I do like to kind of leave that so I can see it or even just get access to it because sometimes when the babies are kicking too much, um, we can lose pickup and it's important that we keep that while he's in the machine. Um, and then, this is probably the most important thing, these leads, he can actually get burnt if these touch his body. So we just want to make sure that we're putting some protector underneath each one of them. We use the gauze. So, no change with this. This is what the way we've always done it. Stick that in underneath in there. So now he's protected from those leads. And then we're going to stick this under here. And he's protected from those leads. Okay, so it looks like we're nearly ready to go. Mm -hmm. So I think probably if we start from head downwards okay. and get him swaddled up a bit. And we can call Cindy. And we'll call us. Cindy eventually then when we're ready, right to go. Okay, so I don't want to cover his eyes, of course. And there he is right there. And he's at the very top of the swaddle. That looks pretty good. His ears, ears are ear nice on. and protected. Exactly. Now, what I do love about this swaddle is that... There is a piece for the leads that we take into account. So we're going to just come right across his chest. His torso is a, a little, little bit wider than our average our baby. baby. <laughs> okay, and then finally down to the leg piece. Now there's actually an additional little cord holder section here, which is fantastic. So I'm going to bring this underneath and over like we normally would. But as you can see, this device, it's great look, it keeps it all in line. And actually this can be used for IV tubing, for any of our breathing equipment as well. So perhaps what we, oh actually, mm -hmm. is it IV tubing? He probably could have taken that, out. Tina, and brought mm -hmm. it out that way. Do you think we should do that? Let's do that as it's there. hand is just curled in. Let's see oh, there it is. is. Yeah. Perfect. That's actually probably, that's that's what it's designed for. So let's mm -hmm. use it for everything that it's got the capability of doing. There we go. Perfect. All right. And let's go across the chest again. Okay, good. So we're ready to roll ready into to the, we checked him, did we? Yep. That there was nothing, no stickers on him or nope. anything. We checked his back um, before. Everything was good. He yeah. changed his diaper. Yeah, and um, he's on the monitor. So I think let's call Cindy to get him going. Oh, hi, Cindy. Thank hi, you. Lydia. We're ready to transport. Ready. Let's take him off the vent. Get him over. Okay. guys tell me when we're nearly set to go because we're going to have to turn the bed off for the duration. Now he's been on the warmer. The bed is still nice and warm. He's wrapped up good. Uh, one thing that I have done is I did tell them, they did call me from the MRI detected to know what temperature his bed was at currently. So he's currently in a 31 degree bed and they've actually set the MRI for 31 degrees which is great, mm -hmm. right? Because when he goes into the MRI, it's the temperature oh, really? that he's at exactly. currently, yeah. which is good. Okay, are we ready to go? He's bagging nicely? Um, yeah, you okay. take your other Oh yeah, good, yes. That would, be, that would be really helpful, wouldn't it? Just as well here, here, Cindy. Another eye. I'll take it. I know, yeah. I got another set of eyes. Thanks, Tina. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm turning the bed off. Unplugging the bed. Okay. And I think we're nearly set to roll. 
Okay. Are we good? Mm -hmm. Perfect. Okay, he's looking good. He's satting 93%. Very good. Heart rate's nice and high. That's it. Good. Yeah. All right, here we go. And good. We left the bed down a little bit so that we would clear that doorway. And he's looking good. His sats are 94. Heart rate's 156. He's sound asleep. And we just cleared that door as well. So it's really important that we remember to do that with the bed. Okay, so if you want to stop here and somebody can take over the bagging, and I'm going to go and get the vent, put the baby on the vent, awesome. transport him over. Okay, so Mohammed, would you take over the bag and I get the ventilator to put on the baby? Thank you. There we go. Just getting all of these ready because. Both the cardiac monitor and the SBO2 monitor actually go into the scanner with the baby. And what we're hoping to do is Cindy's going to have her ventilator on the left hand side. And we are going to. So, Mohammed, um, if you don't mind, could I just ask you when I move with the baby just to move the IV pole and put it on the right hand side of the scanner? That would be great. Thank you. Patrick, here we go. Are you all set to All set, Okay, we're still on the monitor. His heart rate looks good. SPO2 is good. And we're coming over to the scanner. Hi, Judy. Hello. Here we go. All right, Patrick. So here we go. So the IV tubing just runs nicely down the side. It does have to go inside the hook so that it doesn't catch. Am I doing it right there? Yeah. So when we put it into the scanner, we just don't want the tubing to get caught and held up. And uh, Cindy's just this arranged at the... No, this way's better. Is it that way? Okay. Yeah, yeah. No, that's right. better. better. Okay. okay. So we have both of the devices. We just want to keep yeah, them in line. It could go, because I think we're still getting them that way. His head yeah. will stay. Are you going to use um, this here, Cindy? Yes. You think that's yeah. good? Okay. And then I'm just going to take right. the tape so to reinforce it. Fine, okay. Uh, so yeah. then the respiratory tubing actually fits in along the side as well? This is the respiratory tubing. Um, there's actually the two tubes, obviously. Um, there's a little grommet that goes in, and we found the best way to do it is to put them side by side. So I put in one first, and if you look down, you can see the other one feeding in right next door. And it fits in beautifully if you put it side by side. Uh, the thing is, we need to be able to close it. So I, I found that if you kind of feed it through, and then most importantly, don't forget to do this. Because if you leave it dangling here, the minute we put it into the scanner, it's going to get caught. So you want to put it in around in here. And I think we're set to go with the tubing. And then force the tube here right. with a piece of tape to... Okay, perfect. All right, All right. Tape looks good. because the tape does not stick to the to the wrap. To the wrap. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. Yeah, that looks pretty right. good. Totally okay, secure. everything seems to be in line. Good. Yeah, not pinching anything. Okay, cool. All set to go in. Okay, so just to point out, if you do need to get these doors open really quickly, so. If you have a look up here, there's two little divots um, that it closes over. So by lifting it and opening it, you're releasing them on this end. So one, two, three. There you go. Very straightforward. In the case of an emergency. There we go. Perfect. The tube looks good. Okay. So we're going to disconnect first from the power source. And we're going to remove the plug. Disengage the brake. And slowly put the baby in. So 20 minutes later, we're done. Again, the table is undocked. And we're going to slowly bring the baby out. Okay. 
walk the table. That's good. All right. And don't forget to put the plug back in. Patrick is all done. Good job, Patrick. Did a great job. You sure did. All right. Okay, let's take the vent tubing. All right. So us. if you want to hold the, the tube in place, I'll just okay. in case we use it here. Yes. There it goes. Perfect. Here it's coming up. Tube and is good. All right, Cindy. There you go. And I'll just take care of the IV. Have you got that? And so I'm good. Put it down on this yeah. plastic piece so it doesn't come okay. off with the bins. <laughs> Okay, here we go. We've got the IV tubing out as well. Yeah, and it looks head. Head. So, did you see that there, Cindy? And you know what? Yes, they, I, yeah, yeah, you I'm can get cut. You so got it. I just mentioned when yes. the lights yeah. are off that mm -hmm. I'm holding this so that we don't lift that exactly. up with the baby. All right. The last so, I'm going to go and we'll put the Somebody help me. Oh, I've got the IV pole. That's <laughs> perfect. All right, Patrick, back on the bed. That is awesome. Okay. And again, now we're back on. And my portable monitor for the baby is... We left it over there. There we go. Perfect. And we're good. Awesome. There's his heart rate. His SPO2 looks good. I think we're all set to rock and roll. Okay. And don't forget to plug it back in. So for every baby that's intubated that comes to the NICU MRI suite, we are going to have a physician, a respiratory therapist, a nurse, and a radiology technician during the entire procedure. If for any reason there is an emergency, the baby can be whipped out of the scanner really quickly, brought to this warming table where we have all emergency equipment. There also is a telephone on the wall, but the thing to do, if you need backup, if the physician and the nurse and the respiratory therapist need additional backup, you hit this code blue button. Yep, you're right. The code will be triggered, and you will get full support from outside.